Uh, hello, my name is Barbara Eimer. I'm with the Norton BC Figure Skating Center for Sk <laughs> Center for Skating. Norton BC Center for Skating. Uh, as of October 2014, I will be working with Jessica Harder, uh, who is a junior brown skater on her flying camel skin. All right, would you please present us your flying camel skin? So let's focus first on your entrance, on the jump of the flying camel. What I would like to see, as you're going on your outside edge, you have to put a toe pressure on your takeoff, yet there is no spinning around on the toe. We're not going forward, we're not jumping a loud jump. The leg still must go around, so the takeoff is very quick. The leg goes around and I would love to see your upper body in a 90 degree position. Let's go on this one first. Please, one more time. That's all right. Now, when you go to your entrance to your spin, I would love to see the pressure on the inside edge, then the step is narrow on your outside edge. This is your takeoff leg, right? Left leg, it's a takeoff, you are on the outside edge. There is no nothing in. Your arm, left leg and your left arm work together. You're getting your upper body to 90 degree, toe pressure takeoff. Immediate takeoff up to your jump. Let's try that again, please. Yes. Out. That. So that was much better. Now, keeping that in mind, we're moving forward again. Inside edge, relatively narrow step forward on the out. Arm works together with your left leg. Upper body 90 degrees, fast take. Once you land of your flying to a flying camel position, we're landing on the toe, and immediately I would like you to go on your outside edge, sweet spot, right? That we're having here on our legs. Even to the right, correct? That's right, that's your sweet spot. What's happening with your leg, camel position? That's right, you cannot drop it. Once you land in the camel position, your position must be locked. Okay? So let's try that. So the prep and the takeoff is a little bit better. Well, it's a little bit better. Now, uh, the spin itself. Mm -hmm. That's right. Your left leg a little bit more backward. Come here to the border. A little bit more backward. Toe out. Lock. Lock. Look straight ahead of you. Shoulder straight. That's right and please hold that position. Beautiful. If I could see that in your flying camel, I'd be very happy. Oh. 
out. Please try again. You see your upper body. Make sure on the entrance to your flying camel, your upper body is low. We're jumping low. Land. You don't lift your upper body. When you lift your upper body, your leg will drop immediately. So you have to stay low in order to lift the leg up and lock your position. Okay? Let's go again. Out. Lock. Mm -hmm. Jesse. I think we're gonna put you into illusion before you're gonna learn actually how to hold the backwards I'm not sure and that's in my heel. Yes, you're going in your heel because you're lifting your upper body and you're going your leg is dropping and automatically your balance shifts into your heel. Now when you land, please make sure you land and right away you hold the sweet spot. But in order to do that, again, your upper body lower, your leg up. That's right. Okay, let's try that again. Watch your entrance. Out, lock. Thank you. Well, I have to tell you, the beginning was beautiful. And what happened after? Mm -hmm. And why that happened? Thank you. Now, can you keep your body down? How many rotations do you need? Mm -hmm. Can I have those four rotations? All those muscles, all those shoulders, back muscles, and here, and your back muscles, all of them you have to tighten. Right? to have a nice camel position. Okay, let's try it again. Hold it, save it, save it. Don't give up. Let's go again. Outside, right there. Your body is low, your arm moves, you jump, you stay, and you are moving. All right? Let's go again. No sudden movements with your left leg, please, in the camel position. Very steady. Up. Left. 
Pardon me? Yeah, well, you have to be very steady. I, don't, I wouldn't like to see any sudden movement. You have to be low. That's how is your jump happening, right? And then you have to stay low. What is happening on your landing, your upper body goes a little bit up and your leg, unfortunately, goes down and is bouncing. So when the leg is bouncing right there, you're upsetting and you have to be steady on your blades. So the blades start walking and you're going to bring your sweet spot to your heel and back on the foot. That affects your rotation. Okay, we'll try again, please. Out, lock. Thank you. That was much better. Could you tell the difference? That's right. Let's repeat the same spin, the same takeoff. Let's keep the position. What's happening with the towel with the leg? We have to pull it out. Okay? the next step. Let's continue. Out. Toe out. When you are in the back camel position and you pull your arms backwards, pull your shoulders as well back, that will help you to lock your position and be more steady for all those muscles. We need to tighten them up in order to stay very, very steady in our position, the back camel position. Okay, let's go again. Hold it. That was much better. I still see a little bit slight tendency with your left leg going too much on a side. Please assure that you very much are aligned. Your hips that right. Your hips are straight and your arms and lift your leg up to your camel position. Right, toe out, please. That's right. That's what I would like to see. Can you tell the difference when we when I'm holding your arms and when you are actually in your camel position? Mm -hmm. Can you? All right, let's try that again. One more time, upper body, low, mm -hmm. that was much nicer and much faster. Let's go one more time, bravo. Good, good girl. Hold it. much nicer, much faster. So that will conclude our lesson of the uh, flying camel spin. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I guess uh, we'll continue uh, working on it a little bit uh, a little bit more and master the position and eventually hopefully move to a lot of variations, right? In your uh, flying camel position. That will be uh, wonderful to see and 
Jessica has a beautiful uh, stretch and beautiful line and it's very flexible so I'm sure uh, she can accomplish that.